hello everyone welcome back to my channel so this is uh, the basic difference uh, between n type and p type semiconductors generally if anybody will be asking you what is the difference between n and p type these are the three basic points which i'm going to tell you which is very easy to understand and very easy to explain also even in viva send all when they ask you this the basic difference i think you should be able to answer this okay because this is the first step which you need to uh no when you start learning this basic electronics okay what is n type and p type okay the basic thing is it is formed by adding pentavalent impurities to an intrinsic semiconductor so what is this intrinsic semiconductor any semiconductor which is in its pure form that means no impurities are added to it then that semiconductor is called intrinsic semiconductor if for this pure semiconductor you are adding some impurities which are pentavalent that means in its valence orbit there are five electrons okay if you add such kind of impurities to this pure conductor then this n type semiconductor is formed all right so similarly here it is formed by adding trivalent impurities trivalent means three three valence electrons uh if you are adding that to this uh, pure uh, semiconductor this p type semiconductor is formed all right next difference in an n type semiconductor electrons are majority carriers here okay and uh, the holes are the minority carriers over here okay here in p type semiconductor majority carriers are holes okay and electrons are minority carriers obviously see pentavalent means there are five electrons five electrons okay that means majority is electrons okay that's why uh, electrons are major here here three three trivalent no here uh, obviously the holes will be the majority carriers and electrons will be the minority carriers next fermi level and donor level lie near the conduction band so obviously this uh, as the electrons are more that means it will donate it okay this uh, n type will they are called as donors so the the donor level and the fermi level will uh, lie near the conduction band okay here fermi level and acceptor level lie near the valence band so conduction band will be lower band and valence band will be upper suppose if this is like this conduction this is conduction band here the valence band will be there okay so con near conduction band n type will be there and for p type it will be in near the uh valence band the acceptor level okay so this is the basic things first adding impurities five here here three here because of that you can understand the majority carriers here what the majority carriers are you can remember and the uh, how the level diagram this one will be there you can just explain here this will be in conduction band this will be in valence band so please make sure that you understand and remember this two uh no definitions of n type and p type semiconductors i think this is useful very very useful and uh, very important in this subject these are very basic things which you need to remember i hope this is clear thank you if you have want to know uh, more uh, videos i mean more topics in this uh, we have a series of videos on basic electronics please check that playlist or the videos in this uh, channel so that it will be useful for you and also suggest more for whatever topic you need to learn okay thank you i hope this is useful